Just letting you guys know, this whole video, including the B-roll of it on feet, has been shot on the Google Pixel 3. Uh, I'm just really testing out the capabilities of this camera and this phone because I recently bought this phone and I have never been on Team Pixel before. So definitely want to test it out and see what the quality looks like uh, after I edit it and whether or not I can make an entire YouTube video and look professional while making um, content about sneakers. So I definitely am happy that I'm testing this camera out. It's been super easy to use and hopefully it turns out great. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys are Team Pixel or whether or not you like the quality on this camera. Let's get right on into the video. Whew, it's been a minute. What's up guys? My name is Billy Visuals. I know I haven't been posting for a very long time and um, uh, I guess my excuse was just to try to see other creative routes and um, I'm only uploading this video today because I want to show you guys something new that I copped recently. So the new colorway um, of Easy's just came out. It launched um, on the Saturday of November 24th. Oh, actually no, Friday, November 23rd. Uh, on Black Friday. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys copped anything interesting or anything cool. But anyways, uh, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Easy Sesame 350 V2. So I was able to luckily enough have uh, a winning raffle from Foot Locker. Um, and this is the new colorway. Um, for those who haven't copped, I heard that there's still a lot on retail, uh, at retail stores, or if you guys want, I'm pretty sure resale isn't that high as well. Um, but in terms of its retail value, this one is 300 uh, Canadian. Uh, and then after tax is about 330. The previous EZ350 V2 that launched before this one, not counting restocks, is the EZ Butters. Um, and you guys seen my video on that a couple months ago. Um, so this is the next pastelish colorway that uh, Kanye West has launched. And I think it's great that he's going this pastel colorway. Um, and I personally really, really like this colorway since it launched in pictures uh, last year. And I think it's well worth the hype. I know that the exclusiveness isn't there, but I don't really care about exclusiveness. I care about rocking outfits. And I think that's a pretty awesome um, opportunity to do so with such easy colorways to match with. So anyways, let me pull out the shoe. So the box is just a regular 350 V2 box with the 350 on top and then boost on the side. Um, the size that I got was size 10. The very first Easy Beluga V2 I got was also size 10, but usually I'm a size nine. Now that says a lot because the way V2 was designed, it's super tight in the forefront and that's where most of the lockdown is for your foot. Uh, and it's not, not really that tight around the ankle area at all. So having that said, if you guys buy a 350 V2 and you have never, never bought a 350 before, um, just note that the shoe is gonna be uh, a little tight. So don't go shoe to size. I'll go either half size up or a full size up. So anyways, this is the easy sesame colorway. It actually also reminds me of the Moonrock colorway, but this pastel color tone just makes it so simple and sleek and easy to match. You can see in this footage that I'm rocking jeans with it, and you can see in this footage I'm just rocking regular black joggers. And it's just really comfortable and super easy to rock. Um, so the upper is this like nice, very, very, very light tan grayish colorway. Um, in yellow lighting, it looks more beige and tan like this right now than it does uh, gray. Uh, but in other, color, in other lighting, it actually looks gray. So it's like in between color and it's very unique, um, at least in my opinion, that I've never seen on other sneakers. Um, so the bottom, uh, the midsole, it's in this uh, lighter gray tone. It's almost like this cream white tone or off-white tone. And at the bottom, you can see it's a gum outsole and the boost window is right here and here. It's a little bit dirty after me wearing it, but uh, essentially this is what it looks like uh, in the footage. And then on the insole, it's this tan beige colorway insole. It's pretty relatively thick uh, and it just says Adidas and Easy at the bottom. Now for those who don't know Boost, Boost is this really awesome material that they use for a lot of midsoles in Adidas lineup. Boost is this expanded TPU plastic that has this very cushiony 
uh, feeling to it as well as a rebound feel. So it doesn't make you feel like you're putting a lot of effort into your step, but also doesn't feel like it's a hard rock. So it's a pretty unique material. As you can see, when I push my finger in there, it bounces like a nice bedding. Um, I wish they made a bed out of this. How, how interesting would it be if they made a bed out of this? Despite the fact that this is another 350 V2, what do you guys think about this colorway? I personally think this is the number one colorway that has come out that is brand new in 2018 for the 350 series. Um, but if you guys think that this sh they should stop with 350 V2s, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, personally, I like it and I think it's a really aggressive silhouette. Um, maybe you guys like 700s more, maybe you guys like other Adidas shoes more. What is it that you guys uh, would like to see and what would you guys want Adidas to do with their shoe lineup? Anyways, thank you so much for tuning into my new video, even though I haven't uploaded in the past couple of months. Um, I really appreciate the new people that are coming to my channel and the people who have stayed since the beginning. So thank you so much. And um, I know this video is kind of short, but the, we're talking about the 350 V2. It's already been over-reviewed, um, but it's not have, it has not been overhyped. There's a difference. But the over-review means that it's basically the same silhouette. The only difference is the palette swap. So the upper is this sesame color, but in my opinion, I don't think it really looks like anything sesame related. Sesame usually has this like yellowish off white kind of look. Um, unless you're talking about black sesame but even then it's not black so i don't know what sesame really has relationship to this shoe or the colorway uh, but it's called easy sesame so uh, sesame and then uh, the palette swap in the uh, outsole is really great i think it really contrasts as well from the uh, gray gum sole to the uh, light gray Sorry, brown gum sole. That being said, let's wrap up this video. I know I'll be uploading more video content as soon as possible. Thank you so much for checking out this channel and thank you so much for checking out my review. This has been Billy Visuals. You guys just got visualized and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.